Lord Walton of Detchant. My Lords, I beg leave to ask the question standing in my name on the order paper. My Lords, NHS use of weighing equipment is regulated by local authority trading standards. And LACORS, the local authority coordinators of regulatory services who run trading standards, conducted a national medical weighing project, published a report in July 2009. We are working closely with LACORS to address the concerns raised in this report, and a new comprehensive safety alert will be published in March. My Lords, I thank the Minister for that uh, helpful reply. Is she aware that the importance of this topic relates to the fact that the dosage of many powerful drugs is now calculated according to the weight in kilograms of the recipient? And if by, uh, in, in error, uh, such a calculation used imperial units, there would be a serious risk of either underdosage or, more importantly, of major overdosage. And does she further understand that last year, LACORS, the local authority coordinator of regulatory services, carried out a major survey which found that 30% of weighing machines in hospitals were switchable between metric and uh, imperial units, and a staggering 10% were permanently switched to imperial units only? <laughs> the noble lord raises a very, very important question indeed. And of course the problem is, and I'm sure that all noble lords, when they are weighing themselves, will think of their weight, if they weigh themselves, in stones and pounds and not kilos. <laughs> but all medical um, facilities, anaesthetics and clinical decisions are taken internationally on the basis of kilos. So it is very, very important indeed that the uh, weighing that's done within hospitals and all medical facilities is accurate and that's why we are issuing a new alert um, in March and we issued one last year and we will be we are making progress but the noble lord is absolutely right it is a, a very very important issue that we have to get right <laughs> but my lords and, and my ladies, I, I, I must begin by declaring two interests. That as long ago as 1972, I started two years as the Minister for Metrication in the Prime Minister of Edward Heath's government. And for many years uh, now, I have been a patron of the United Kingdom Metric Association. I wonder whether the noble lady is aware that her noble colleague, uh, the noble Lord Lord Grayson, uh, when he was Minister of Science on the 7th of December 2008, wrote to the chairman of the UK Metric Association as follows. The government's long-standing policy is to move towards full metrication in time because we recognise that a single system of units of measurement as a reference point is vital for fair trade and consumer protection. Is she also aware that since I was concerned with this topic decades ago, almost every country in the British Commonwealth, including, for what it's worth, the Republic of Ireland, has completed this process absolutely fully? And is it not now time for all of us in all parties, I come to the crucial point, is it not time for all of us now to work together to clear up this long-standing, very British myth. I absolutely agree with the noble lord. Um, I think he is completely right. And of course, all of our children have been educated using metric calculations throughout, and that is quite right. I think this is um, a matter which is one which will solve itself over time, but it is our job, I think, in government to move it as fast as we can towards people recognising and feeling comfortable using metric calculations. The, Lords, the noble lady has said that it is important, and the noble lord, Lord Walton, has, as ever, pointed out in detail why it is so important for safety, for the saving of lives. It is a matter which has been around for some time. It is many, many months since this matter was brought forward. Rectifying it is not a matter of huge expense. Professionals are very clear about metrication. 
Can the noble lady explain to us why it has taken such a long time for the government to respond with what is a very simple instruction to put the matter right, and not an expensive one at that? Yeah. Well, we haven't taken a long time. We've actually been working with LACORS for several years to take this matter forward. <laughs> but the, uh, the purchase and installation of weighing machines is done at local level. It's done and the decision is taken by PCTs to replace their weighing machines and to monitor them. So what we have to do, and is what we have been doing, is making sure that they are regularly inspected, the instructions are completely clear, and I'm very happy to provide the noble lord with the alert that will be going out in March. It's completely clear what needs to be done at local level. The other issue that LACORS have now taken on board is that they have been focusing on NHS facilities and on hospitals. They're now moving their attention to doctor surgeries, to health visitors, and to other places like um, uh, private hospitals, for example, to make sure that their machinery is also as good as it should be and in order. Sorry. Um, may I ask the Minister, does what she has just said apply to domestic cooking uh, uh, weighing machines? Because all my cookbooks are in pounds and ounces, and my weighing machine is not. <laughs> well, um, my cookbooks are a mixture of pounds and ounces and metric, and my weighing scales does both. So, and I think probably that's the way that most people's are these days. I think maybe perhaps what the noble lady should consider is asking someone to buy her some new scales for her next birthday. <laughs> <laughs> My Lords, the National Patient Safety Agency has reported that one of the reasons for poor nutritional care in our hospitals is, and I quote, the lack of equipment and particularly a lack of availability in weighing scales. Uh, my Lords, today the government's own advisers on malnutrition have written to her honourable colleague, Mr Hope, urging him uh, to discuss, and I, I quote, to discuss with your fellow ministers how the apparent lack of policy on malnutri malnutrition might be remedied. In those discussions, will the minister ask that all NHS hospitals have the weighing equipment that they need to help identify patients at risk of malnutrition? The uh, National Patient Safety Agency has indeed expressed concerns about the impact that weighing scales will have in relation to inaccurate readings or indeed the inability of staff possibly to uh, operate the equipment properly, which is part of I mean, training is a very important part of this whole drive to get these things right. And in, indeed, I will take the point that Noble Earl has made and I will make sure that my honourable colleague does take that into consideration.